Hey guys, welcome back. This is Goldie again. And in this video, I'll talk to you about what data is covered by Google Vault today and what's coming as per Google's public roadmap, which anybody can go Google it and see that. By the way, if you are straight away jumping to this video and you need an overview of Google Vault, you can watch my video right here. All right, so when you start using Google Vault, there are some uh, data pieces that are covered by it and some which are not and it's a long list but I'll try to summarize that for you and I have my laptop right here so I'll just look at it to make sure that I'm giving you the right information it's hard to remember all that all right so let's start with Gmail so all the emails that your users would be sending or receiving will be retained by Google Vault depending on your data retention policies and i'm going to talk more about data retention policies in another video which i'll link here so when you set up google vault you tell google vault for how long you want data to be retained so let's say if I, as a google vault admin if i go and say retain all gmail emails for my users for next seven years then from the sending or receiving date stamp that email will be retained for seven years however there might be a couple of watch points that i wanted to highlight and the first one is email sent from other services let's say when you're sharing google drive document with somebody and you type the message when sharing that is not archived or retained also exclusion of a reference material let's say if you're sending uh, an email to somebody and you insert a third party reference like a Google YouTube video link that YouTube video will not be archived however that email would be all right so the next one is Google group so Google groups data is also retained however when you're creating things like collaborative inbox or questions and answer uh, type of group make sure that as a manager or owner of the group you turn on archiving for that group okay number three is google drive coverage now you need to understand when you use google drive there are google formatted or google native file formats versus non-native ones now if you look at google documents google sheets uh, google slides and forms and google drawings these are google native file formats they are retained they are archived based on your policies but the good news is in case if you upload anything to google drive let's say you upload a pdf file or maybe an image or a word document that will also be retained in your google vault again depending on your data retention policy so till the time you have policy in place to retain that that data will also be retained okay now in case if you are using G Suite Enterprise which gives you an option to record your Google Meet calls those recordings will also be archived in Google Vault which is great for your knowledge-based uh, perspective in future in case if you need to go and look at specific uh, recording uh, in case if you are using Google's uh, Jamboard which is innovative white boarding solution those files that users store in their Google Drive the jams will also be retained or archived okay let's talk about the next one which is uh, Hangouts chat coverage so when you do chat uh, in, in rooms it is and when i say room i'm talking about the new google uh, hangout chat where you can create rooms and then add your members to that and then you all can collaborate within that room so everything that you do in room all the tr transactions that happen there are archived by default however when you are doing one-to-one -one chat okay when you just paying one of your colleagues and when you're doing one-to-one -one, only on the record chat will be archived if it's off the record it will not be archived now you might be asking what's the difference so when you are chatting in google hangout chat there is an option that says 
go off the record. If you click that, you will be going off the record and then whatever you chat after that will not be archived. However, whether you can go off the record or not, that depends on the settings that your G Suite administrator might have done in the background. But just keep in mind, if you see off the record uh, button there, if you click on that, you will go off the record and that chat will not be archived then onwards unless you turn that back on. Okay, so these were the applications where you can retain their data in Google Vault today. And when I say today, it's uh, 10th February 2020. Now I will show you Google's public roadmap, which is available for anybody. So you can go and look at what's coming in Google Vault. So let me share my screen and let's see at that Google Vault's roadmap. Okay, so to look at G Suite's public roadmap, I am at Google and I will simply search for G Suite future release. And it hopefully that should be the first link which says upcoming G Suite releases. When I'll click on that, it will give me the whole table where it shows which product uh, functionalities are in development, etc. We can also narrow it down uh, by the product. So I'm going to quickly type here Vault to see all the Vault upcoming functionalities. So as you see, Google Plus, which is now called Google Currents, uh, that which is a social uh, platform by Google offered to G Suite customers that is also under development to be covered by Google Vault. Vault for sites, so if you have been using Google Sites they say that it's in beta where you should be able to put retention and hold and search and export new sites as well. Google Vault for voice, I think they're talking about Google Voice, so if you are using uh, Google Voice to make and receive phone calls, they will also be covered by Google Vault. Next one is Vault Search and Export for New Sites, Beta, so where they say admins can search and export their organization's sites. I think uh, that should be done via Google Vault, so that is in Beta. Now the other one is Vault for Voice where they say Vault for Voice will be available as an alpha release to Vault customers. That is also under development. So this is about the Google Vault's public roadmap published by Google. Uh, we already covered what's already in Google Vault. And if you want to learn more about it, you can go to my website's uh, blog post that's called Definitive Guide to Google Vault and under Table of Contents you will find this specific section which says Google Vault Data Coverage. When you click on Jump to Section, it will show you what data is covered in more uh, details like the summarized version and then you also see what is covered in terms of each of these products and also I've put what's coming in the roadmap based on the upcoming releases that we just saw. So I hope this video gave you some information about what data is covered by Google Wall today and what's coming in roadmap. If you have any questions, comments, feedback, do not hesitate to put that under this video and I will be happy to collaborate. Thank you so much.